After the election, we had an unprecedented crackdown on journalists. The government arrested more than 5,000 people. Many of them were tortured inside prisons. Some of them were raped. And the government wanted to perpetuate a kind of narrative that everything was fine. Muhammad was on the streets doing basic journalism, doing interviews, uh, getting videotaped testimonies from, from individuals uh, who had been held in, in the Kahrizak detention center and, and documented a, not only a very dangerous, but also a very complex story. Unfortunately, he's paying the price for that right now behind bars. When he went to prison, he faced solitary confinement and he was forced to write confession letter to say that what he said was not right. He was forced to deny the reality, the truth. And this is something he's resisting to say. He showed um, his readers that the people who were held there uh, were students and, and, and mothers and bakers and doctors who uh, went out onto the street to make their voices heard, who were simply at the wrong place at the wrong time and really had to face the wrath of the system. The Kahrizak Detention Center very quickly became known for the substandard treatment and for the abuse and torture that was taking place. And he exposed a lot of those stories in a way that very few other journalists were able to. Thankfully, that facility is now closed and every political prisoner inside Iran who doesn't end up in that facility because it is no longer in existence really has to thank Mohammad Davari. Mohammad is the representative to a lot of journalists in Iran that are inside prison now. Mohammad deserves this award for the commitment, courage and dignity for telling the truth. It's incumbent upon us to continue to, to shed light on Davari's case and on the cases of, of the dozens of other imprisoned Iranian journalists. Because if we don't, then the government has succeeded in silencing Iranian journalists.